Okay, so welcome back. This is the Pan African Morning News right here on Galaxy Universal Network. And of course, we are fearless, zero favor, and zero fiction. And we are still celebrating women, inspirational women, right here on the Pan African Morning News. And we've got two guests, two ladies who are from Maf Town, Mafikeng. Mm -hmm. Ladies who are taking over in the film and TV industry. We've got Mapula and Bonolo. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And Thank I must you. say, you know, yeah. I too I much. Hello, African ah. day. Uh, day. Uh, you <laughs> yeah. No, we came prepared. We came yeah. prepared. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about yourself. Let's start with you, you know, uh, Mapula. What, who are you? Where are you from? You know, before we get to the industry Just that you are taking over. Okay, so Lina Lakaki Mapula Sitako, I'm originally born and bred in Mahigeng, moved mm -hmm. to Joburg, uh -huh. to the Gold City, where, uh -huh. you know, the industry is booming. Uh -huh. So I've been here for, for quite some time. So in mm -hmm. the industry, I'm, uh, I'm an acting screen lecturer and theater lecturer at After Film School, okay. and I'm a theater director, mm. uh, I'm an acting coach, uh, I'm a producer, okay. and uh, yeah, that's about oh, it. So you went to After? I teach mm -hmm. there. That's why I oh, teach, okay. but I studied. Yeah. I'm from TUT. Oh, yeah, you still like teaching there now? Yes. So you're teaching my daughter? Yeah, you know, my daughter is doing second year. She's, yeah, no, okay. she's, she's first year yeah. this year. She's doing no, first year. No, second. Uh, she's it's second. supposed to be second, Sisanda. I, I'm tired of paying school. <laughs> <laughs> <Is it something? laughs> she's not in my class, so I wouldn't know, but I know yeah. she's, she's at my school. Oh, lovely. Yes. Nice. And Bonolo? Hi, I'm Kenna Bonolo Taletsi. I'm originally from Nafiking and mm -hmm. I'm an actress, um, mm -hmm. theatre, um, slowly moving into television mm -hmm. and film, and I'm an inspiring production manager. Because mm. I believe in spreading your wings, you know, it's not mm. only about mm. just being in the forefront, you know, mm -hmm. mm. who do yes. magic, and mm. I want to be part of that, so yeah, that's mm. what I do. Lovely. Wow, ladies, mm. uh, I mean, the industry in which you're in is a very interesting one and a very tough one as yes. well mm -hmm. uh, for women, mm -hmm. especially. Um, there are a whole lot of women that uh, couldn't get their dreams realized due to the fact mm. that uh, probably they didn't uh, have what is usually looked for uh, before mm -hmm. you could uh, come in. We know we are subjected mostly to Hotel Avenue before uh, we can uh, pass through to whatever destination when we want to. What are the difficulties that uh, we have, uh, you have uh, met? I'll start with you, Bonolo, um, the difficulties mm -hmm. that you maybe come across in this industry and how did you manage to obviously mm -hmm. uh, kick them off your way and move on with your life? I think with with that, it's mostly your appearance, you know, the light skinned and, and the, the fully figured. Um, it's always about that. Um, those are the challenges that we go through. But I've learned throughout that, you know what, if it's not for you, it's, it's okay. It was meant to be, but something else bigger would come through. So those are the challenges, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you also said that, you know, you are um, a theater uh, person, yes. right? And have you, like, you still aspiring to be on television? Why theater instead of, you know, because right now, what's more out there is television. Yeah. People don't go to theater yeah. a lot, you know what I mean? So where do you think maybe you're going to grow or maybe, like, uh, just to be on theater is it maybe because you love theater more than TV or maybe you just chose uh, specifically to um, focus on theater to be honest I would have chosen um, television before theater but theater does something to a person it grooms a person in a certain way and your characters and the the depth of getting into your characters it's it's more intense than television mm -hmm. so um, um, yeah it's it, mm -hmm. It's not about which of which, but I think mm -hmm. they both go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Mapula, would Your you challenges. maybe advise? Um, oh, yeah. Sorry. No, no, I would have loved uh, Mapula to actually oh, give yeah. us uh, yeah. the, the yeah. answer my, on challenges. My first. challenges. So, I'm just one of those people. I graduated like a long time ago from TUT, and it's been mm -hmm. a struggle for the longest time with me in the industry. It took me a while to get my break. Babdu Mandlovu is actually the only person who was willing to give me a break and also because oh, of the man Yes, mm -hmm. he had like um, the Thursday, uh, he calls them the DNA uh, classes for yes. the graduates, for the acting graduates, mm -hmm. you know. So he's the kind of guy who gave me a break, but also, so I, oh, I started behind the scene. Mm -hmm. I started with a script supervision. They, well, they used to call mm -hmm. me a short caller. So I was mm -hmm. a short caller for Mubango for a while. Okay. And then after that, I went to Rhythm City. I did script supervision again. 
but then it became dry. So now as well, um, mm -hmm. I got to a point whereby I don't want to be an actress anymore because mm -hmm. I feel like there's so much that I can do as a woman. Yes. So I'm branching into the directing and mm -hmm. uh, the producing world, which is actually mm -hmm. even more difficult. I mean, mm -hmm. in theater, we have very few female theater directors, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. they, I don't think they're even mm -hmm. more than 10 that I know in South Africa, mm -hmm. or yeah. just let alone in Johannesburg, mm -hmm. you understand, which is a more worry for me, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I actually did my first directing gig this year. My play is still streaming online. I don't know if you guys are going to show it here, but mm -hmm. I really yeah. appreciate that. What's so the name of the play? It's, it's called Mosadi Po. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah, it's, it's streaming on YouTube for mm -hmm. the South African State Theater yeah. Channel, mm -hmm. you oh. know. So also also, the, the, the problems that I, that I encountered as I was directing that was that we don't get, we don't support each other enough sure. as women, mm -hmm. you know, and we know the kind of challenges. So mm -hmm. I think I was maybe expecting people to kind of like receive me or give me like a warm welcome, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. from the women who have already been in the, in the of industry, course. Yeah. the directors, mm -hmm. but none of them to this day, none of them have True. ever said, True. Nana. Well it's done. not going to be easy. Mm. Well yes. done. Yeah. Well, let's do this let's together. Yeah. Mm. You understand? Mm. So I think my bigger ambition is to create that kind of platform for mm. female directors, writers, producers, and also the technical uh, stuff that is done in theater. Mm. So we mm. have a long way to go as female uh, in this kind of industry, especially in the bigger. So as well, when, when you get to audition, it's always the producers is male director, yeah. male. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm. is male. And mm -hmm. the acting is... Females. females so mm -hmm. I want to break that pattern really so that's the biggest challenge that I'm kind of like facing right now in the industry oh wow oh wow yes. this is quite uh, amazing mm -hmm. to actually uh, get it from you because I, I wanted to also mm -hmm. ask you you've just answered one of the questions I wanted to ask you after mm -hmm. that just to, you know when you come into this industry usually you 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 know you meet people that you you know they would inspire you you wanna mm -hmm. go to them and ask them questions and stuff mm -hmm. like that and I'm sure that uh, women will be your first yeah. to go because you mm -hmm. know that they've they, they've went through almost the similar challenges mm -hmm. as you you would so mm. obviously they mm. none of them have uh, mm. like come into them. space so the answer is yeah. there why is that in your opinion what is it is it is it mm. maybe jealousy challenging or maybe I think maybe a person is coming to take my space uh, what is wrong you know what I don't think it's necessarily jealousy I think it's what is it I don't even know what to call it it's also about who are you why are you yeah like, why are you here yeah who do you think who you are, are? You? like so, you know yeah. I've made my mark so it, it's that thing mm. of I should actually maybe you know very few female and funny enough all the male directors they've been saying to me well done we can't yes. wait for your next production yes, yes. oh well done oh come come mm -hmm. step in mm -hmm. you know as well if you're a woman and you're stepping into the directing space most of the time you get a male mentor which mm, is very problematic true, because true. if you want to tell a female story now your mentor is a male the vision might clash because you coming with true. a female yeah. perspective true. and he's coming with his own male perspective so i want to break that and really create a platform that will actually encourage young female uh, directors producers mm. to say come come to me i got you mm -hmm. you know now that mapule you're also a teacher right at a yes. film school yes now my question is you know when we got into the industry um it was mainly through talent you know but then mm. now we encourage yes up and coming artists to go Check to school stay, yeah. which is good yes but then you end up finding that sometimes it's under you know you'd go to an audition and there's someone with a talent who can qualify for that role you know rather than somebody who went to school mm. so the difference you know that th there is um now you've got to deliver to a client somebody who's talented you know only because now that person's got a degree you know in directing or, or you know what and then you've got somebody who's more talented but didn't go to school who would you choose you know as a teacher what advice would you give you know to people to say does acting go with um, maybe a theory or a t to be an actor you can just be there and be act an act and be beautiful and be talented that's the kind of notion that I also want us to break. I mean, if we want to be taken seriously in this industry, we need to go to school, in yeah, all knowledge. honesty. You can't just wake up yeah. one morning and decide, oh, I'm going to be a doctor. And then and you then, get a stethoscope yeah. and then you start practicing. You mm -hmm. understand? I sure. feel like we also need to take it serious. You need, even if you don't go to any university, but you must get some, some sort, sort of, of training. training. Talent yeah. alone yeah. is never good enough. I mean, there, mm -hmm. there, there is an industry jargon that we speak. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you come, actually, and 
also that exposes people to exploitation and other things that happen in the industry. Yeah, you know, because you don't have that backbone, you don't have yes. backup trading, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, which is only the th kind of things that you can get from school. Mm. You know, so I, I'm, I'm really all for the, the people who have studied the craft, mm. who knows, and as well who are teaching this as, as a career, not as a yeah. hobby. You yeah. know what I would I want to, yeah. um, I'll just give it yeah. to you uh, first, okay, uh, Bonolo. No yeah, you're going. Um, I'm saying it's also the same thing. Even if you, you studied, it could never be enough. You could never say you've arrived. Mm. Even if it's an actress, you know, if you have something that is going and um, the script, you make research, mm. it's, it's also part of that. And going to school also teaches you that, mm -hmm. that even every single time research mm -hmm. research research yeah, yeah. What, what I wanted to, to, to add on to that to say I, I strongly believe though that the challenge becomes where a person who doesn't even have the skill or the talent wants the picture of what it is mm. like to be an actress I want to be on TV and Very whatever dangerous. so now mm -hmm. I want to go and study talent you cannot learn talent yeah. Yeah. you know mm -hmm. so I think it's it's it there's a greater need of emphasizing on people to say follow your talent follow your dream follow your passion, passion yeah. other than what your naked eyes mm. can see mm. because there's so many people that we some see on television with whatever degree and we're like really yeah. now you mean there was no you know, you know? Other person. <laughs> exactly and then now give the opportunity of feathering education to people that are already skilled to say mm -hmm. you are talented in this now let's feather your education mm. now it goes back as well with what parents the role that parents need to play in their children's mm -hmm. life so mm -hmm. if if i have a child who likes to maybe ride fast cars then you take your child mm, towards that sure. particular mm. education then to remove your child from what they want to do mm. and put them somewhere else and then you end up with the people that can't really uh, you know even sing but they are mm. at the music school yep. and yeah. Uh, yeah. you know yeah. uh, you know because mm. also it's a it's a status that's mm. another thing we yeah. follow statuses mm. uh, in mm. most cases which mm. becomes a it problem now I would want to know, you know, um, there's this thing of, uh, you know, at school you always learn talent and whatever. Why mm. is it that we are not being taught the business of this industry? When mm. we go to school, we are only being taught. I attended after, by the way. Um, oh, yeah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was uh, back in 2005. Okay. So um. it, it, when I came out fresh from, um, uh, uh, from high school. Yeah. So w w what we are mostly taught, you are being taught uh, script writing, you know, acting and so mm -hmm. on and so on, but not the business of it. Um, mm -hmm. How do you sustain your life with this as mm -hmm. a business? But why it's kids? do extend in mm. those parts of uh, education. They do mm. business management still on this field. Mm. Why is it that we cannot encourage our people to be in this space? Because you end up having a very, very talented people that make big names, but they die with nothing because they did not even know mm. how, how to maintain and run money. their own businesses. Mm. And funny enough, it's, it's something like I'm um, part of a foundation back home, it's called One Foundation. And this, this other girl came to me and was like, I want to do the same thing that you're doing. And I said to her, like, the industry is actually bigger than it is. There's so many things. There's the business side of it, mm -hmm. you know. It's, it's mm -hmm. something that we really need to educate people about. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's unfortunate with, with our skin tone, with black people, that we don't believe that there's actually more to than just the forefront. You know, it's, it's mm -hmm. more than being pretty. There's also the business side of it. Mm -hmm. It's... It's yeah, and when you're a director, I would really want you to uh, also answer mm -hmm. me on that question because mm -hmm. if you're a director, I think maybe you, you're teaching a child directing, you're teaching them uh, producing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It shouldn't be wanting to go and work in somebody's yeah. uh, a business. It's for mm -hmm. you. Like you've been talking quite very Create. highly about creating mm -hmm. um, opportunities mm -hmm. for the people. Mm -hmm. So what does it take for one to, to, to learn to focus on the business part, entrepreneurial uh, way of uh, doing things instead of being hired? Okay, I'm just going to uh, take it back to the academia side. So um, when you, in a TUT, when you do your third year, there is a course that they call business administration. And at VERT as well, uh, post-grad, when you do your master's, you, you, you get to do uh, business administration, art administration, which a lot of people don't like because black people don't like to read sure. as well. Mm -hmm. You understand so we'd rather gravitate towards the easier skill of acting of off of because it's just easy it's the body you don't yeah. have to engage in yeah. the theoretical work and read and read and read those courses are kind of like out of there but it's just us who actually don't want to step in and actually you know challenge ourselves mm -hmm. 
you know. So um, with me, it was quite different because I, I went through the grilling process of studying and, 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 and I self-developed myself through and through. So I read the policies because one of my biggest dreams is to be a Minister of Arts and Culture in this country. Oh, you will? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. definitely, no you doubt. You, you know, will. so I familiarize myself with the policies and currently every time when there's a white paper coming out, mm -hmm. I, I engage myself with the white paper because I need to know also how to apply for fundings because yes. funding yeah. is out there. Government is really doing their part but we enjoy as artists and as also because we did not go to school for that we enjoy sitting down and complaining and complaining mm. and expect things to come to us that easy i mean who's going to take you serious if you did not even study this craft that you're talking about mm. but you expect the government to give you the money mm. how can the government trust you with this money without you even showing the responsibility yeah. and the credibility that yes. i can actually be able mm. to create yes. work for other people with this yes. 350 funding that you're giving me mm -hmm. you understand so i think People really need to open up their eyes and actually just learn. Mm. Information is, is out there. Google is out there. We mm. just need to, you know, mm. just yeah, out there. Yeah. I think yeah. we, go with, yeah. um, we yeah. go with the perception, you know, that is being put okay. out there, yeah. you know, because mm. uh, frankly speaking, South Africa is the only country in Africa with so much grants for everything. You you fall pregnant, mm. you got a grant. Mm. If you don't have, a, you are homeless, you get a grant for your mm. house. Mm. You, 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 are, house, you want to be you an actress, there is a grant for that. You want to be, they <laughs> yeah. are grants for mm. everything. everything. Um, and this is the only country in the entire African continent that uh, mm. provides so many. I mm. do understand there are, of course, uh, red tapes around, mm. but people do not go out there and you know, shake those doors mm -hmm. and say, but why this red tape? Mm -hmm. We are already living on a perception that, yeah, I can't even apply because there are red tapes, mm -hmm. because there are red mm -hmm. tapes. So what are you doing, especially as a teacher, um, you know, to also educate this guy? So say, listen, mm -hmm. guys, there are opportunities out there. And uh, mm -hmm. these opportunities, they are there for you mm -hmm. to explore. So mm -hmm. go out there and explore these opportunities and maybe assist them in some way mm -hmm. in um, finding ways of kicking some doors open. Of I actually do. I, I'm, I'm big on that. You know, as soon as I get information and also Bonola is quite big on that, you know, mm -hmm. so we, we've cr also creating this new movement for women to say, let's share information. Yeah. I mean, if you don't know how to fill in for my yeah, yeah, lottery, NLC, come, let's sit down, let's do it together, mm -hmm. especially if you have went through that process before. So I'm, I'm that girl who just wants to bring change, man, in the industry. I'm that girl who's just kicking doors and saying, but guys, we can do so much better, you know. Mm -hmm. And also uh, the departments like uh, NAC, I mean, just before COVID, they went, they had like a, a whole Zoom session where they were telling people on how to fill in these kind of forms, you know, and also compliance, you know, because also government has this thing of, you know, so s some people, you know, sometimes you don't even, your company, you're not compliant, but you'd still want to be, you know, so people don't have like the proper reasoning capacity even. They don't even know how these things work, mm -hmm. but they would be expecting. So going back to, to your question, we just need to open up ourselves out mm -hmm. there and find information and mm -hmm. seek help because information is there sure. and help mm -hmm. is also there. Mm -hmm. And never so be ashamed okay. to ask for help. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very important. Like the things, I have conversations with him like, yo, this mm -hmm. is what's happening, help me. Mm -hmm. Never be afraid to. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has to start with you. And mm -hmm. that's why I'm going to production managing. You know, I'm, I'm coming out of my shell that, you know, I want to learn. And I, um, I, I was product, from assistant production manager to mm -hmm. production manager for some short film that they were shooting. Mm -hmm. And from there, I'm like, you know what? I need to actually equip myself and actually go mm -hmm. and learn more about it instead of, mm -hmm. you know, just doing it. So mm -hmm. it's always, always you have to go out there and just take it. Mm -hmm. ask mm -hmm. it's, it's there. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. really, ask mm -hmm. questions, mm -hmm. you know? It's, it's really yeah. there. Elaborate so now, more uh, on, okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying elaborate more, Bunelo, on, on your experience at the theater because uh, some people also don't understand that, uh, you know, at the theater you learn quite a, a, a lot. I mean, I yeah. attended uh, so mm -hmm. As well, uh, training under Papa G um, years back. Uh, mm. You know, this is where I started. You know, learning on mm -hmm. the whole thing. So mm. it's not just about you know coming in there. Maybe you're gonna sing, mm. dance, and mm -hmm. put us thing. There are classes that are being you know ran in there. And some mm. of these things you do it for free. Like I never paid uh, for those things. You get paid maybe sometimes stipending Yana for taxi fare and stuff like that. Could you maybe you know invite young people because we are all 
all the time wanting the glam and the television. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what we see on TV all the time. We want to be, all we want to be like Palisa without us, you know, sharpening our craft mm -hmm. at the back, at the theater. And also want to correct something that my colleague said before mm -hmm. to say people don't go to, to theater. Hey, I always go to a uh, Joburg mm -hmm. theater. It's always <laughs> fully packed. It's mm -hmm. jam packed. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, tickets get sold. Like, okay. But that's true. You know? it, it has evolved for the past three years. Yeah. Like it's always packed. It's always fully yeah. packed. You know, people do go to theater and, and watch that. And I think people want to now mm -hmm. see because there is also a lot of uh, camouflage on television <laughs> nowadays. So please, uh, what would you say to a young girl out there to say, you know what, I want to be in the industry. I don't have money to pay for after and stuff. Maybe I can start at the theater. Is that a good idea? It, it's always a good idea, and even if you can't go to your TUTs, if you can't go to your universities, there's always institutions. I went to an institution called um, Sibigo Arts, it's in Benoni, okay. you know. Yeah, um, it also had the business side of it, you know. Yes. Um, um, always, but also know what it is and make research. You know, I, I feel that I should have done actually some research of actually what is it that I want to do, because I've always loved acting, I've always mm -hmm. been a kid who always, you know, but if I would have made research, if I would have met other people, you know, um, I would have been something greater than being yes. an actress. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. slowly but surely, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm opening up, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. Um, do what you love. Mm -hmm. It's always good to do what you love. Like, um, I'm coming out. So many things are coming to me right now. You know, it's, 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 not, it's never been a very great journey, but because of the passion, mm -hmm. because of the love, mm -hmm. everything is unfolding and, and, as, and in the Bibles and as it says, I the Lord at the right time I will make it happen. Yeah. And great, great. Gratefully yeah. guys, COVID. I, I I was never broke. I was always working. And it's this mm -hmm. conversation that we had that you know what, with us people, God was just showing that I'm still there. You know? Of course. And of course, and yeah. he did that for me and I'm so grateful. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So yes. Makula, you know you're a teacher, right? I wanna go back to after game film school. Um why three years? What is it that um, film school teaches that takes, you know, directors and producers three years? Can you take us through the steps of what's happening in the first year, second year, and then finally, um, you know, third year? Um, Just in brief, you know. Okay, so first year, basically, uh, they're still very confused. They're still young. So we give them a bit of everything. So mm. they get to They're the all taste. thinking glamour. Yes, I'm gonna be yes. A and funny enough, the, the after kids, oh, they <laughs> come with that glamour already in their oh, mindset, you know. Yes. So first year, we give them a, a taste of everything. So they do live performance, uh, and then they get to do TV, and then they get to do film. Okay. Second year, they decide what is it that they want to do now. Mm. Uh, so the acting students, the live performance students, oh, there's also music. So okay. we separate them when they get to their second year. And then uh, the, if you decide that I want to be an actor, you go to live performance. To okay. I want to be a musician, you, you go to a uh, music department. And mm -hmm. that TV goes to TV and the film. So second year, I think with the technical stuff, because I'm in live performance, I don't know what they do in TV, but I know that um, we work hand in hand. So we provide, mm -hmm. we train their actors, our actors, and then we provide the film and the TV with mm -hmm. our actors. So they do projects together, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And then third year, I think it's the exit level. That's when they have to mm -hmm. now produce their yes. own short films because now they, it's the exit level. So they, I think they actually even showing now currently mm -hmm. on YouTube. So you can check them out to the Avda YouTube mm -hmm. channel. They are showing their third year. So when when you leave Avda, you know, and also with this new thing that the COVID nineteen, it it also exposes the live performance students into mm -hmm. the camera mm -hmm. because now they were they were doing this hybrid learning and they were shooting from home. Yes, so it exposes yes. them to to that the technical stuff that they never been exposed to before. You know, so and also I, I think that I actually appreciate COVID-19 because yeah. now it took us from our own comfort spaces to say, you can do so much better. You yes. can do so yeah. much more. And I think also it, it broke the, the, the separation between the film and the theater mm -hmm. because I'm that girl who's always been caught, been caught between the two, you know, and mm -hmm. I actually do acting is acting. There is no theater, no TV. You just mm -hmm. need to know when you get to TV, you minimize. Yeah. When you get to theater, yeah. you make it yeah. big. <laughs> you know, yes. as simple yes. as yeah. that. So mm -hmm. for me, there's always no uh, line between the two. Mm -hmm. So COVID-19 actually made us realize that actually there is no difference. I mean, I managed to rehearse and shoot my show 
and theater and now it's streaming online. Mm -hmm. I cannot say that, that that's a theater show because there's no longer live or audience mm -hmm. to it. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I think really, and also in all honesty, theater doesn't have money, people. Like I theater, was about to say uh, that. It's it's yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> theater away from from theater, you know, because there's not really much um, like financial support exactly. in theater. So theater artists are the ones that usually, you know, when you go there, then they said, no, you tried a pauper, mm. you broke, and people don't know about it. But then what can we do, maybe, you know, people in the industry, just to make sure that, um, just to encourage people to say, you know what, you can still make a living through um, a theater. What should the government do? What message um, should we take I, to, you know, our Minister of Arts and Culture mm. to pop in money in theatre more than just, not only more than just in film, but also more in theatre. Before you answer, okay. I'd like to correct this. It's not that there's not money in, in theatre, theater. it's just that it's not consistent. Mm. You know, no, you can, there's no money because you can literally... The, 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 the money that theatre actors get are different from the money that TV, TV actors, actors get. get. Like if I, the money that I can make per call in film in theatre I can make in a week. So I think that's it, I think it no yeah. depends on the place. Yes. I think it depends. Like the colour purple, that yeah. was one of the most expensive. That's an international. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. depends. Yeah. It's the <laughs> same thing. Local. You could be on yeah. television and be on Zanzi Magic and be on a, a bigger, uh, you know, United States uh, movie. Mm. The call, uh, call rates won't be the same. So yeah. mm. I think it also depends on you know the production, on what production it is that uh, put that money. Unfortunately, mm. we don't have mm bigger paying productions in mm. South Africa, which subsequently mm. uh, mm. makes it uh, quite, uh, you know, cheaper. Yeah, to, but yeah. there's also no sustainability in, in theatre. Mm. I mean, mm. if you do a show, I mean, I've just recently did a show. So literally, the, the rehearsal process, you get paid for the rehearsal process and the performance, and then it's mm -hmm. done. With TV, it's quite different. If you get a gig, let's say, in a telenovela, you know, you're guaranteed, at least if you get like a lead role, you know mm. that you're gonna, you know, have a salary for, for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Whereas in theatre, it's just one oh, So it's a consistency yeah. issue. It's a consistency yeah. issue. Yeah. 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 That's the biggest thing that mm. we're struggling with mm. in the industry. So theatre mm. is just, a, you, you taste, you eat, and then that's about it. And then mm. you go back home and stuff for a while. And you still have wait. to pay. Exactly, <laughs> you know, wait for another gig, for another audition to happen, yes. and then you also don't get casted, you know, so. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for me, I'm, I'm still saying, you know what, TV is the future, film mm -hmm. is the future of this industry. And mm -hmm. the sooner we accept that, the better for ourselves. Then, uh, uh, for, for example, uh, the U.S., they're thriving, their industry is thriving because they take it very seriously. You know, most of, I believe that they make a lot of money, their films make a lot of money. Look now, they already have Netflix, they're always mm -hmm. 10 steps ahead. Mm -hmm. You know, and simply because uh, most of their work is film of Tyler Perry. I'm the mm -hmm. biggest fan of Tyler. Tyler started his stage plays and then he shot them, sold them, got a video. That's how he made mm -hmm. his revenue, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. th th as much as we do love theater, theater will always be our ancestor. Yeah. But moving on, we really need yeah. to. Yeah, I think maybe uh, without us sounding a little bit uh, discouraging on theater, I would maybe rather say, let us maybe encourage people to say, start at a theater as your stepping stone yes. for no, you. Definitely, to, definitely. You know, to, yeah, definitely, no, definitely. to kind of, you know, um, sharp on your craft yes. and make sure that you are in a position where when you go to television, you last longer. Yes. Because uh, another mm -hmm. issue is the issue of uh, people coming on television. Uh, once they are kicked out, they're out, mm -hmm. you know. We're never gonna see you ever again. I mean, sometimes you find like really big names to say hi, boo. was like really, really uh, big in that space. And then now that person is not able to come to bounce back into um, the television space. And this is what uh, is it difficult. Now let's talk about, you know, your internet uh, television, you know, mm -hmm. as you just mentioned now that uh, Netflix has come into space and uh, mm -hmm. it is another issue mm -hmm. where we are still sitting here and say television is the, but maybe mm -hmm. two years yeah. down the line, Future. TV won't be a, a story of to talk about anymore. Mm -hmm. People will just want to watch uh, from their homes um, anymore. So mm -hmm. what is it uh, that uh, the television um, on uh, internet TV, it changed a positive change mm -hmm. that is bringing into this industry? I think it's bringing, uh, I mean, you can watch Netflix whenever, wherever. Yeah. You don't have to wait for nine o'clock to yeah. catch, mm -hmm. you know, the queen mm -hmm. or wait for the next day to watch the omnibus, you know. So I think it brings that flexibility and it also gives up opportunity to producers and writers and 
uh, the directors who actually never got a chance to showcase Gomzanzi Magic, yes. those who've yeah. always been, you know. So they have now this new platform called Netflix. But what I'm looking forward to is rather someone to create that kind of Netflix for Africa because yeah. we cannot mm -hmm. always be borrowing from our Other, bigger yeah. sister America. Yeah. You know, we need to create that kind of, the sooner the better even because that's where the, the what do they call it, the fourth, World Revolution going, is, yeah. is going for you know, So we need to move with the times, really. You know. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I, I, and I also like its flexibility. I mean, we can just watch something Even right now. here, <laughs> right now, as long as yeah. you have data. I yeah. mean, you can do. And it's also not restricting. I mean, Netflix is also moving to this ideology of you can shoot your own uh, film, film with your own phone, with your, mm -hmm. you know. So that's that's a big. So we're not low. No, we're no longer trapped with. You know, we don't have equipment. We don't have. Because mm. when you have a cell phone, you can do whatever that you mm. want to do. So how about yeah. money out of it? Uh, because uh, yeah. now if I am a, a filmmaker, I'm probably wanting to make my, uh, you know, my big break on big screens and stuff like that. Mm. And uh, now if it's people need to go buy tickets and stuff like that, now it's a matter of uh, availability of data uh, that you watch. So how about the, the makers of this? Um, uh, is it profitable for them? I think it is because I think it is because I know with YouTube right now I'm actually aiming to get 5000 views. I know mm -hmm. if I get if my show get 5000 views there's it's a certain, revenue yeah. a certain revenue that I'm getting, mm -hmm. you know, from that. So I think there is I just don't know the logistics behind but I know that there is revenue behind mm -hmm. it. It's not like only Mark Zuckerberg or whoever mm -hmm. gets the money and then we we get cut off. So mm -hmm. hence, I'm pushing that whole lot of people get to watch my show, subscribe mm -hmm. into the South African uh, State Theatre YouTube channel, and just you know increase mm -hmm. my views. So yeah. we can, well, as it, artists, mm -hmm. also get that money back. You know, so it also gives me the leverage or the confidence to say, as much as State Theatre gave us this, we done with that mm -hmm. now. But if we push this, if we push this marketing, and we get five. 5k views, then we're gonna get something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Well, is, is the pie big enough, you know, for everyone? Is there still space, do you think, you know, for people to still come in in the industry? Yes, you know, there, is. Is. there yeah. is. There is. And actually, what excites me about this now, the internet television, is that you have access, you, your audience is broader. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want Oprah to watch my show. You know, and I think I know it is possible. It is highly possible. I just need to push the word forward and say, mm. Oprah and Oprah and mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the Oprah and, uh, I call her my aunt. I call mm. her my aunt. You know, so there is a platform, a bigger platform for the audience. Mm. You know, to reach your work, which mm -hmm. is actually even nicer because your work mm. won't only no, be known in mm. South Africa. Yes, and yeah. Renata Bonolo yeah. as an actress, do you think maybe there's still you know bigger space? You know, for people, for young and upcoming actors to go in the industry? I mean, like, there certainly is, like, we've got people like Mabule who are creating mm. jobs, you know? Um, mm. So the, the pie is always big. It's, mm. it's always big, guys. It's just that, that. let's not be selfish. Mm -hmm. Let's really, really not be selfish. And it's unfortunate that people get typecast and you see the same character mm -hmm. at the river, at the queen, for example, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I would love just maybe one day, I don't know how it's going to be broken that, mm -hmm. Let's give other people opportunity. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. really, really give people opportunity. But you know, uh, talking about that, giving other people an, an opportunity, right? With my experience, especially in the industry, I've also got to know that um, the reason why the very same people are always on our screens is because they are experienced actors and actresses, you know. Because mm. now you get here, you get a new um, face which is good, but then you find that when they get on stage, they don't have that much experience. And mm. remember that the production is business. And yeah. because the production is business, the uh, people work, you know, with certain times. So if I hire a director that's going to work for seven hours, after seven hours, the director just picks, you know, the okay. whatever, and, and just goes. So you don't want, you know, to have actors that are not prepared or, you know, a crew that no is not experienced. Because now time is money mm. in the I industry. So, so how do we engage I, I others? I Linda uh, also I, disagree with I, that. I, I, think, I think it's also, mm. when you're saying business... Well, like I'm people, talking experience yeah. as well, you it's know what I mean? Because sometimes you'd go maybe with a, uh, a new, and I'm not even talking young, but yeah. a new face you know on TV and then when you get there if you don't know your lines time is money you know you don't want to be spending three four hours on just one scene because of an inexperienced actor I, I, I do understand where you're coming from like I've been busy um, 
going to be on a feature <laughs> film. Um, no. um, so it, it's Paul Chlotbom. I grew mm -hmm. up. Paul Chlotbom is in the in, is is in theatre, yes. but now he's going into film. It's his first film, and most of his actors are actually people he's worked with throughout mm -hmm. the years. Mm -hmm. You know, with mm -hmm. his theatre plays, and. I came in, I jumped in, and, and he's, I'm all new to him. Mm -hmm. And he asked one of the people, like, are you sure about her? And mm -hmm. I had to actually make him feel confident that he made the right choice by picking me. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's really not a crime. It's, it's a person people really literally rather would work with what they know than what they don't know. Mm -hmm. you yeah. know? Well, it's it just somehow, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we unfortunately have uh, run out of time. Are but, we uh, out of time? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Too short. Yes. Uh, uh, uh -huh. But I would, I would, in closing, uh, you wanted to say something. Yeah, I also just wanted to speak back to what Ospalisa said about um, uh, if we are the producers and we know that there's Mapula who went to TU2 or AFDA, that person is trained already. Yeah. They know how to memorize their lines. Mm -hmm. They know the set protocols. They know what they're supposed to do when mm -hmm. they get on set. So mm -hmm. if you hire that person opposed to uh, typical Tembisi, you know, who's been mm -hmm. in the industry, I know that, you know, Mapula, she has passion and she will definitely bring something new to mm -hmm. the table. Mm -hmm. she, she's from school. This person is learned. Let's mm -hmm. give her the opportunity yeah. and actually the confidence. Let's see how mm -hmm. they'll do. As opposed to taking somebody who's been there, we know what they're going to bring. But as opposed to, to taking table. somebody who's been there, who, where, we could, where must we say she must now go? Because at the end of the day, whether she's famous or maybe she, you know, she she's been there, she also needs to put food on the table. But no, at the that same time, must Mabula go at the back. Who must be given and, a chance? And, and, you know? and but promote. what if she doesn't want to be like, uh, you know, she doesn't want to go at the back? I know, you know, one prominent actor as well who's also been there. Again. But then she also says, but then <laughs> who said me? I want to be a director. Yeah. I don't want to be a director. I don't want to. I want to stick to, um, you know, acting. She's yeah. that's what she knows, and that's what she's yeah. always known. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thank you so much, <laughs> ladies, uh, for joining us this morning. It was a very interesting conversation, and wish you all the best in in your journeys and of course that uh, we want you guys to continue promoting women out there because mm -hmm. if we can hold each other by hands mm -hmm. this world will be a, a sure. better uh, place uh, should we do that mm -hmm. uh, and of course that uh, we were joined uh, by Mapule and Bunolo right here on the green mm -hmm. couch we are going to take a very short break when we're coming back we've got more news and update for you right here on Galaxy Universal Network channel 500 Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning and a warm welcome once again on Galaxy Universal Network, Channel 500 on Stasset, and this is Pan African Morning. Hi, Sudi Melang. This is still Pan African Morning News right here on Galaxy Universal Network. And of course, we are fearless, zero favor and zero fiction. Warm welcome to Galaxy Universal Network, Channel 500 on Stasset. Catch the Pan African Morning Queens, Susanda Kwabikuto and Balisa Muchiminyan. Every weekday at 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. right here on Galaxy Universal Network, Channel 500 on Starset. Catch us on all our social media platforms. It is Galaxy Universal Network on Facebook, at gun underscore TV on Twitter and Instagram. Visit our website on www.galaxyun.tv. You sure don't want to miss out. of brains. Mm. So were you born with it? Yeah, I was born with it. This thing, if I like, but I hate it, it's happy, mm. and then you can't wake up. It's not about not having jobs, it's or us being lazy. We're willing to take the step, we're willing to push, but you need to have processes that actually help us instead of just killing us. Let me tell my story.
Welcome back again. Now we are still right here on Pan African Morning, broadcasting live in Midrand in the Republic of South Africa. And if you have just joined us, uh, we have uh, reached uh, mm -hmm. to the last uh, few minutes of the show. But uh, before we can go, let us continue to give you the news headlines. The 54-year-old Guazulu Natal woman linked with the South African Social Security Agency Fraud Syndicate was arrested for being part of the syndicate that has defrauded the agency of more than 7.2 million rands. She was arrest arrested uh, latest, uh, what are the, the latest to be arrested as two other members of the group were arrested in Ikobo last year. The members of the syndicates were found in possession of 47 Sasa bank cards and 73,000 rand in hard cash. The, the cards had been used to defraud the millions of rands and she appeared in the she appeared before the Deben Specialized Commercial Crimes Court and was released on 10,000 rand bail. Temba Maklo, the regional executive manager for Sasa in Guzur Natal, said that there was a zero tolerance approach to the fraud and uh, corruption at uh, the agency. Okay. Yeah, you know now, the story about um, Sasa Kaz, Sisanda, that's yes. a problem that we actually, you know, are always facing. And the sad part is that it is officials that are actually, you know, taking these cards that supposed to be belonging to the people. And what they do, because I know, you know, somebody uh, once told me that what happens. So what they do, they take these cards, they, you know, share it amongst themselves. And at the end of the month, they mm -hmm. are the ones that are taking and collecting those monies that belong to the people. And yes. I mean, it's, it's very sad. Yes. I mean, how, of I course, they cannot the, you know, achieve those. Greediness. No, they can't mm. achieve all those uh, without somebody working from inside. So of it's course. an inside job, a mm. quite very obvious inside job. So um, uh, we're hoping that, you know, they could be arrested. Mm. And I'm hoping that uh, our back office has managed to find that uh, a video clip that shows this women uh, mm. talking about uh, how, you know, they've got these, uh, uh, you know, mm. cards mm. that say, oh, now, mm. I'm a I'm a mm. mm. And apparently, they can even talk about about 50,000 so. rents each a month because mm. like each and every one of them they've got this whole stocks you know of, of yes of, of, yeah. yes yes mm. yes more than uh, more than mm. 50,000 because they've got uh, the, the ones for disability they've got the ones for uh, you know old mm. age they've got the ones for children mm. and stuff mm. like that it's a whole lot of them and, and on top uh, of that they still have their salaries Yes, of course, of course. Another crisis uh, on this is also, you know, the, your standard South African citizens that have got ghost children, uh, mm -hmm. a person that will have uh, five kids that uh, really do not even exist. Mm -hmm. And these ghost children, they are being created mm -hmm. by the people working at uh, Sasa, you know, to claim that, uh, you know, um, I mean, mm -hmm. have fake bank accounts and, uh, I mean, uh, bad certificates mm -hmm. and everything else. It is just shame quite on very people. Shame insane. on you when their children that are supposed to be, you know, deserving to get all these monies, government monies. But Nina, I'm officially Nina and Tatama, Imali Zabantu, Imali Zabantuana, and Niti Froda Abantu Basakaya. That's very embarrassing. Shame it on It is you, terrible. He further mm -hmm. added that uh, they are satisfied with the increase in number of arrests and convictions relating to social grant fraud. The woman appeared uh, before the Devon Specialized Commercial Court uh, crimes yesterday, and she was released on a 10,000 rand uh, bail. I hope mm -hmm. they've just given her 50,000 so that, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, at least we get some of the money that uh, uh, she's been uh, stealing. Mm -hmm. In another news, another child has has been found or rather has died and this is a five-year-old liquid chessery that was knocked over by an alleged hijacker who tried to evade cops yesterday the 27 year old mother Elvina Heringa says that her son Cherisey was playing outside with friends and in on Angela Street when she was doing laundry I just had a bang and went out and saw that the father already had him another 10 year old boy was injured as well as the driver of the SAPS FC Vern Van Vick said that the flying squad of the police conducting the routine patrols, they when uh, they spotted the Hyundai Elantra, which uh, had been stolen in Weinberg. Those were the words that were spoken, of course, uh, by uh, the mother. It is uh, confirmed that a 32-year-old suspect is currently at a nearby hospital for medical treatment under police guard uh, for the cases of uh, possession of stolen vehicles and culpable homicide when. Uh, 
uh, registered for their investigation. It is quite a very disturbing, yet another very disturbing story. But you know what? Uh, we have decided, of course, uh, to keep mm -hmm. the two ladies because the conversation um, <laughs> was, was uh, booming. Yes, yeah. uh, the conversation mm -hmm. was quite yeah. uh, very heated. I think we can, we must take it back. And of course, if mm -hmm. you just joined us, uh, let us remind you, we've got uh, Bunolo and uh, Mabule mm -hmm. on the uh, mm -hmm. Green Couch. We're talking about, uh, you know, the accessibility in this uh, media industry. Of course, mm -hmm. we took we looked into the business part of it. Uh, we looked into availability of talent and uh, mm -hmm. skills and the supporting of mm -hmm. each other by mm -hmm. women to women. Now, mm -hmm. or maybe because we are also left with very, very little time before we, sh we finish the show. Mm -hmm. um, before we went on break, we were talking about uh, how, you know, the skills, we, we keep on seeing same faces. Uh, people mm -hmm. are actually mm -hmm. complaining. So, you know what, we're mm -hmm. seeing same faces from this space to this space. And Spalisa was saying, yeah, no, you know what, uh, you know, it's, it's talent that is out there. Mm. It is the skills that is there. It's experience that mm. is there. It's not just, uh, you know, mm. the face that we're talking about. Mm. But now we must remember that uh, for that person, for Lele Di Kumalo, to be Lele Di Kumalo today, there was somebody that gave Lele Di Kumalo an opportunity yeah. Yeah. from day one. Mm. So now how do we create other Lele Di Kumalos if we don't give an opportunity mm. for other young Lele Di Kumalos exactly. to take in, up the space? Mm. I mean, you'll find but people... at the same that time, Susanda, we also want to say Lele Di Kumalo is also still an actress. Lele Kumalo is a mother who also needs to go back and feed her children mm. and her family. So if you want to put somebody else, you know, in a role that can be played by Lele Kumalo, where must we say Lele Kumalo must go? Because it's at the end of the day, Palisa. if Lele Kumalo doesn't, you know, also work, and then tomorrow we're going to come back and say that Lele Kumalo died a pauper. Yeah. Lele Kumalo will be all over no, the media. No, but I'm thinking it's I'm growth. That example. It's yeah. growth. Yeah. The it's biggest growth. crisis that we have with our South African actors and musicians, they fail to grow. They don't yeah. want to grow. They sit in the same space as just an actress yes. without we wanting to, to grow evolve. and evolve yes. and become bigger. But Look at American actors. Else. They just want to do anything. This is what I'm want saying. to do anything. Do you know how beautiful it is to be like behind the scenes? Yes. Like yes. I'm the passion really is not the same. You fine with it. You fine with it. But then her, if she comes and says, but I don't want to be a director. I want to keep on acting. What then now you, that's your problem. You are boxing yourself. So mm. don't make yeah. your problem our problem because we want to, you know, groom the new talent, bring yes. young people. So mm. the problem is growth. I'm telling you that if, if you want to stay in your own small space forever, you are not wanting to grow. You don't want to put yourself mm. out there. Mm. You don't want to, you don't necessarily, I mean, you, you can mm. grow in, in various spaces. You mm. can be maybe the person that, uh, you know, sits there and say, I've, I've been watching talent, maybe be a talent developer developer for an example mm. to say you know what I don't have to be an agency but I'll be a talent developer to say for me I've seen the best of the best in the industry if you are looking mm. for such mm. if I see a uh, yeah, Bonolo coming into the industry with her uh, theater talent I would look at her and listen to her speak and say yes this one we can develop yeah. to make this so you can make money in that space as well mm. you can still but survive in speaking, that space. I have met someone that says but Ospalisa, I don't want to be behind the scenes I want to yeah lawyer so relax <laughs> No, no, no. Judge her. She's comfortable yeah. where she's at. Yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. <laughs> so in closing, what would you want to send um, to young I, people? I would like to say, as, as producers, we need to open up the industry. Yes. In all honesty, uh, the problem starts up there from yeah. the producing. Mm. Amen. We need to open True. up the industry to new people. That's the only way we're going to grow in South Africa in this industry. Um, in closing, I would just like to say, people, please help me. Watch my show, Mosadi Boy is streaming on the South African State Theatre YouTube channel. Kindly just watch it as an awesome production that touches a whole lot of issues that, that speaks back to life, basically. Yes, yeah. yes. I'm gonna watch it. Um, in Please closing, I'd just like to say have patience and it's, it's not going to come easy. Like you can go to school now and for me literally, I, like it was what, 2012. But now I'm going into the industry, so have patience, have patience. And while you are um, still sitting and looking mm -hmm. for something, do something else, you mm -hmm. know. Um, go to workshops, do mm -hmm. something, you know. Watch plays. Which, watch plays, like, mm -hmm. you know, watch films, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Keep yourself busy I'll say, all you know, the time. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Just yes. focus and stop grab you know, opportunities. So I mean, you don't know how many times one has been rejected. I mean, mm. before I was on yeah. Generations years back, I was rejected for ten years. Ten years later, that's when you know I received a call to say come and audition. So rejection is there, but then don't give up and you know go out mm. and get what you want. Mm. Don't see people on TV and think, wait, well, hey, they're always on TV. Those yeah. people have been rejected something. before. Yeah. They've been you know yeah refused jobs, but then. Me, 
eventually, you know, after going Slowly after what they surely. want. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm literally there, seeing you know, that so. with myself mm. as well. I've been to so many auditions. And mm. you know what? I'm, guys, I did a lot. I'm in a feature film. I did Mzansi Magic. I mm. did a commercial. So it's, it's you know? really, really, but it's, mm. it's mm. patience. Patience. And, patience. Knowing, patience. and yeah. knowing what I want. And yes. I'm still here. And I'm, thank you, God. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, ladies and uh, I want to say, ladies and gentlemen. There is no gentleman here. <laughs> Thank you so much, the gentlemen. Uh, uh, the the gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, we have reached uh, to the end of our uh, Pan African morning on this Friday morning, and uh, we hope that you had a beautiful one. And uh, I was hoping that Palisa was going to show us the wine that uh, uh, she had uh, oh, uh, yes. before the end oh, of the show. Yes, this is uh, the that. wine that comes from uh, one of our very own women. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. You know, uh, uh, she Don't she is the. Uh, the creator of this uh, beautiful uh -huh. uh, you know work uh, uh -huh. we must uh, really uh, definitely go out and support mm -hmm. this uh, young lady uh, she's selling in uh, uh, this is her one day yes one day is one day exactly yeah. we had a very beautiful one would like to thank our guest of course uh, for gracing us this morning and also thank uh, our team our, our back team uh, for setting up this show and making sure that it is a success as it is but most importantly would like to thank you our viewer at home for taking your time and allowing us in your rooms in your kitchens in your bathrooms in your garages in your mobile phones in your computers tablets wherever mm -hmm. you're watching us we're saying thank you you could have been somewhere else but you chose to be here with us uh, we really appreciate that please do join us again next week monday same time same place right here on galaxy universal network and please continue to watch your continuous uh, uh, you know programming for the day as uh, we are going to be broadcasting until late at night tonight so please do stay with us and of course that uh, weekend is continuing as well until sunday so from myself from until next time, Africa. Goodbye. Khoza khona na palisa mo chumi nyane koko mane khasi bula idi roba roba thakula thakha masedi ampela zetu ringia roba dia sele umnyamate unkonto tu manje ngetu lumnyango valo valanga makanza matzoza. Bye yo.